tired of spills and stains on your sofa? Wash away your worries with Anabay. Anabay, the only sofa that's machine washable inside and out, where designer quality meets budget-friendly prices. That's right, sofas from only $639. Anabay brings you a no-risk experience with pet-friendly, stain-resistant, and changeable slipcovers made with performance fabric, cloud-like comfort with high-resilience foam, and hypoallergenic featherless down that needs no fluffing. Their steel frame ensures longevity, and you can rearrange the modular pieces anytime. And here's the cherry on top, up to 60% off site-wide. It's backed by a 30-day satisfaction guarantee, so if you're not absolutely in love, send it back for a full refund. No return shipping or restocking fees. Every penny back. Join the revolution of easy, clean, stylish living with up to 60% off at anabay.com. That's A-N-A-B-E-I dot com. Offers are subject to change and certain restrictions may apply. Looking for hair removal tools that not only deliver smooth results, but also make you feel totally in control? Enter Conair Girl Bomb. They're like your secret weapons for smooth, sleek results, made just for us. From the ultimate Girl Bomb grip to the professional grade blades, say goodbye to settling for less. With Conair Girl Bomb, you get the precision and power that used to only be exclusive to men's tools. So take your hair removal routine to the next level with Conair Girl Bomb, available at Walgreens. Are you ready to move your career forward? Make your comeback with Purdue Global and get college credit for your work, school, life, or military experiences. With these credits, you may have already completed up to 75% of your undergraduate degree. You've worked hard to get where you are. It's time to get the recognition you deserve and earn a degree you'll be proud of, one that employers will trust and respect. When you take the next step in your life and career, make it count with Purdue Global, Purdue's online university for working adults. Start your comeback at purdueglobal.edu. AirPods Pro with adaptive audio automatically keeps out the sounds you don't want to hear so you can listen to your music and lowers your music to let in the sounds you do need to hear. Hi there. Hi, what can I get you? I'll have a strawberry mango coconut probiotic smoothie with wheatgrass. Anything else? Extra wheatgrass. Here you go. AirPods Pro with adaptive audio available on AirPods Pro second generation when enabled. Hello, from Wonder Media Network, I'm Jenny Kaplan, and this is Womanica. This month, we're talking about women of sound. These women dominated the airwaves, innovating, documenting, and creating the audio landscape we live in today. Picture this, a young woman sits on the grass. Behind her is a wall of pink hydrangeas. Her ginger hair is long and pinned out of her face. Her checkered blue dress is splayed out around her. She looks down at a dulcimer on her lap and closes her eyes as she starts to play a tune, humming along the way she has since she was a child. Her husband snaps a photo and captures the mother of folk music with the iconic instrument she introduced to a wider audience. It's an image that's both timeless and harkens back to an earlier era. This is the woman who reached across time to bring an old sound to modern America. Meet Jean Ritchie. In the early 1920s, Jean Ritchie was born at the foot of the Cumberland Mountains in Viper, Kentucky. Her parents were farmers, and Jean was the youngest of 14 children. As the world modernized around them, her family still performed many household and farm tasks by hand, washing dishes, hoeing corn, and churning butter. And to pass the time, the whole family sang. Not the new jazz songs that were sweeping the nation, but traditional songs like ballads and hymns. These were songs that their British ancestors had brought from overseas when they settled the Appalachian Mountains. Throughout Jean's childhood, singing filled every room in her home. At night, her family gathered together on their porch to sing up the moon, as Jean called it. As a young child, Jean watched her father play the dulcimer, a wooden lap instrument typically plucked with your fingers. Jean yearned to play the dulcimer too, but her father wouldn't allow his children to touch his rare instrument. Jean ignored her father's rules. She would find spare moments to sneak away and play the dulcimer in secret. As she got older, she played openly, plucking the strings with a goose feather quill. Her father was impressed. He called her a natural musician. In 1946, Jean graduated from the University of Kentucky with a bachelor's degree in social work. 
From there, she got a job in New York City, and she brought her dulcimer and the hundreds of songs she'd learned as a child. When she wasn't working, Jean could be found pulling out her dulcimer at house parties and singing in her high-pitched hummingbird voice. She would sit on a chair and close her eyes as she sang about her simple upbringing. When she was finished, she would open her eyes to an audience transfixed. From those parties, Jean started getting paid gigs. She became a regular at the coffee house scene in Greenwich Village. She was asked to perform on radio and TV shows. While most of the country was grooving to rock and roll, Jean continued to strum her mountain songs. It wasn't until Jean met Alan Lomax that she began recording her songs. Alan was a folklorist and an ethnomusicologist. And when Alan first heard Jean play, he immediately asked her to record every song she knew. She said that would take some time because she knew at least 300 songs. Many, many hours later, when they were done recording, Alan sent her songs to the Library of Congress. Jean's voice was officially part of the folk music revival, and the dulcimer was the bedrock of her iconic sound. In 1952, Jean received a Fulbright scholarship that allowed her to travel to the British Isles and study the origins of her ancestors' folk music. Jean and her husband George rented a little French car and zipped through England, Scotland, and Ireland. When they arrived in each town, word would spread that there was an American folk singer in the area. The whole community would cram into someone's home and perform local songs for her. She recorded these sessions and grew her collection of songs. When Jean returned to America, she was seen as an official expert in all things folk music, its origin, evolution, and style of performance. By the end of the 1950s, Jean was invited to perform at the inaugural Newport Folk Festival by her friend and fellow folk singer Pete Seeger. Throughout the years, she played at the festival three times and shared the stage with Joan Baez, Bo Diddley, Bob Dylan, and Peter, Paul, and Mary. Longtime folk singer and radio host Oscar Brand later said, If you want to hear America singing, you listen to Jean Ritchie. Jean was seen as a traditionalist, someone who sang old songs and sounded of the people, while more mainstream folk singers were writing more topical and political songs. The hardest act Jean had to follow at the festival was the year that Arlo Guthrie debuted his acclaimed song, Alice's Restaurant, with lyrics that protested the Vietnam War draft. Fans loved it. They cheered and cheered as Arlo exited the stage, and Jean took her place in front of the crowd. As she stood there in her simple prairie dress, she began singing a few lines of Amazing Grace a cappella and captivated the thousands of festival goers. Jean wasn't immune to the changing times, and she began writing her own folk songs. Her new songs talked about workers' rights, protecting the environment, and peace. These songs were mostly written under a male pseudonym, so her mother wouldn't be harassed by neighbors who might assume that her daughter was a communist and she thought songs written by a man might get more attention. She was right. They were covered by a number of famous artists, including Johnny Cash. By the late 1970s, Jean's husband had the idea to record her songs with electric instruments, so her songs could be heard on the radio. Her record, None But One, went on to win Rolling Stone magazine's 1977 Critics' Choice Award. It brought her music to a new generation. Jean performed for more than 50 years, created more than 40 albums, wrote numerous books, and performed on some of the biggest stages in the Western world, from Carnegie Hall to London's Royal Albert Hall. She won the Folk Alliance's Lifetime Achievement Award and the National Heritage Fellowship awarded by the National Endowment for the Arts. Her music sailed over the Appalachian Mountains and reverberated around the nation. Through all the changes she saw in her life, Jean never lost her connection with her roots. In her old age, Jean once said that out of all of the places she's performed, her favorite place to sing was during family reunions back in Kentucky. Her family would gather around on a porch and sing up the moon together. Jean died in 2015 at the age of 92. All month, we're talking about women of sound. 
For more information, find us on Facebook and Instagram at Womanica Podcast. Special thanks to Liz Kaplan, my favorite sister and co-creator. Talk to you on Monday. Ready to celebrate International Women's Day? M&M's and iHeart present Women Take the Mic, sharing empowering stories of women supporting and celebrating each other. And of course, there is a smooth and creamy companion for your listening pleasure, peanut butter M&M's, because they're just another way to help treat yourself in situations where you deserve a little added delight, like listening to your favorite podcast. So savor the deliciousness of peanut butter M&M's and spread some positivity. From breaking glass ceilings to dominating in sports and entertainment, women truly are unstoppable. Allstate wants to remind fans that mayhem is everywhere, like when the tailgate party shows up at your house after the big win. Everything's great until the hot plate gets too hot for the tablecloth. Now your kitchen's up in smoke. And if you don't have the right home insurance coverage, the cost to fix this could sideline your savings. So switch to Allstate, save money, and get protected from mayhem like this. Not available in every state based on coverage selected, subject to terms, conditions, and availability. Savings vary. Got menopause? We've got you. Hi. Jackie here, founder of Exo Jackie. Feel supported throughout your menopause journey and beyond with our organic protein powders and symptom relief boosts. Formulated to keep bones and muscles strong, Exo Jackie products help reduce bloating, hot flashes, and weight gain. Enjoy 20% off with promo code EXOPODCAST. Shop now at XOJACQUI.com. Made for women by women. Residents at Brightview Senior Living Communities enjoy enhanced possibilities, independence, and choice. Brightview Dulles Corner in Herndon and Brightview Great Falls offer vibrant senior independent living, assisted living, and memory care services through various daily programs and cultural events. Chef-prepared meals, safety and security, transportation, resort-style amenities, and high-quality care. Everything you need is here. Discover more at brightviewseniorliving.com. Equal housing opportunity.